How's it going guys? Today I wanted to give you five stocking stuffer gift ideas for guitarists. Let's start with product number one. Alright, so product number one is called Finger Ease. For those of you who don't know what this is, because maybe you're not a guitarist and you're just shopping for a guitarist, Finger Ease is a spray on lubricant for your strings. It helps keep them clean, makes them a little easier to play uh, because it you know lubricates them so your fingers can move across a little bit faster. Perfect size for a stocking, very small bottles, and really inexpensive too. Usually a bottle's only gonna cost you about five or six dollars, which is pretty awesome. So, again, it's called Finger Ease. Link will be in the description down below. Let's go to product number two. Product number two, and if you're a guitarist, you probably already have one of these, but chances are batteries die in them, so um, getting a new one isn't a bad idea because batteries are usually roughly the same cost of just buying a new one. So clip-on tuners. Now they come in all shapes, sizes, brands, everything, but you want a decent brand. And the reason I say that is because they're calibrated to tune your instrument to be, you know, in tune with whoever else they're playing with. So if you're playing with someone who has an instrument and they're playing in tune to a really expensive tuner, chances are it's going to be way more accurate than a cheaper tuner. So usually the good rule of thumb is like Deuterio, Snark, um, Korg, they all make relatively good products. They're well known for their tuners. Those are good tuners. Now this one's a clip-on, like I said, and I like these because they clip on the headstock. They don't go anywhere, and they usually don't require as much battery. Now the, the other ones that are like standalone, those you'll have to plug into. They're a little bit bigger, um, but they're still pretty good. They're a little more accurate. But these only cost about $15 to $25, depending on which one you're getting. So that's pretty awesome. Again, this is a clip-on tuner. So let's go to product number three. Product number three is a capo. Capos are amazing. So again, good stocking stuffer, really small packaging. And uh, they, they last forever. Essentially, it's just a spring-loaded clamp that holds on the strings so that when you play, you're limited on the neck and pitch is higher. So these are really, really great. Uh, I've had this one for about... 16 years 15 years and it's lasted the whole entire time um, i know people that have these and lose them all the time so it might be a good idea to have a backup and yeah just overall a fantastic gift idea so that brings us on to product number four product number four is every guitarist's most irritating thing and that is guitar picks so guitar picks are a great and handy tool for guitarists. And pretty much every guitarist will use guitar picks at some point in their life, if not continuously use them throughout their guitar playing endeavors. The problem is, is they're small. Like, look at that. That is so, that is so tiny, okay? That is, that is just ridiculous. And then this one, this one, even tinier, okay? Ridiculously small. So, most guitarists will lose them constantly. So buying a pack of picks, is just a really great idea. And, you know, picks are different. They're all not like the same shapes and sizes as I just demonstrated by showing you two different types. So maybe steal one and then go to the store and be like, can I get a pack of whatever this is or whatever's closest to this? That way you're getting exactly what they like to use because there's different thicknesses and sizes and things like that. So that's another great idea to get a stocking stuffer for a guitar player. And that brings us on to product number five. Five is gonna be the most expensive thing. Everything else was under about $25. So capo, maybe 20, 25, tuner, 15, 25, stringies, five to you know 10, depending on where you're getting in, how big of a bottle. And then picks are about five to $10 a pack. Okay, this here is a pedal. Now pedals come in all shapes, sizes, and just crazy different you know things. So. You don't necessarily know what pedal to get this guitar player, but you know that a small pedal like this will fit in the stocking. A good way to like kind of figure out if they have something you know similar or anything like that is is you know find a song that has some crazy sound in it and be like, hey, I don't know what's going on in that song, and preferably make it one that they like, right? So let's say let's say it's a song like um, Welcome to the Jungle. Okay, and you're like, hey, that intro sounds kind of that, that intro sounds kind of weird. Do you know, um, like, what what's going on with that guitar? And if they're a pretty decent guitar player or, or done any research, they'll probably know that that is a um, delay pedal. So, 
Okay, oh, a delay pedal. Do you do you have one of those? That's what you ask them. But yeah, so that's a good way, you know, find a song with a weird sound or something that you've never really heard them play, and you can probably figure out, hey, they need a pedal. And these, like I said, are the most expensive thing. They usually run, you can get them anywhere from 50 to 150 to $200, depending on what kind of pedal, what brand, and everything like that. They all pretty much do the same thing uh, as far as category of pedals go. It's like all loopers are going to record and play back. All dry pedals are going to boost the signal. So just things like that. Um, but yeah, just ask around and maybe you can uh, trick them into giving you stocking stuff for ideas. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Links for all of this stuff is going to be in the description down below. Those are Amazon affiliate links. So if you do click on them and buy anything, I do get a small commission, which helps me make videos like this and will help me continue making content for you in the future. Again, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you next time.